I'm tired. Oh my God, they may have mold in my house. Can you believe it? Could it get any worse? God's definitely giving me a sense of humor test and I hopefully am passing. Uh, also, I wanted to comment something, you guys. I am in one of those moments where I let my Botox wear off. It's really good to do that. It's, so if you see me getting older looking over the next like two, three weeks, you know why. It's because I let the Botox fully drain from my face and then I reapply. You know, Botox is preventative, but you don't want to lose the shape of your face by overdoing it. So a really good suggestion if you do Botox regularly is to let your face sort of have a rest and then go back in for the Botox refresh. Yeah, it's not so bad to be a little bit old looking, you know, for a few weeks. You could do it. Or is it? <laughs> All right, I just wanted to give you that advice because a lot of people don't tell that. Uh, my Botox person loves that I do that because she says it's really good for the muscles in my face to work for a while, not just be completely frozen indefinitely always. <laughs> Quick reminder, you guys, join the Patreon. What I put out here is just the surface. It's $6 a month and it supports this channel and you get a lot in return for it. So please join the Patreon if you don't want a tip or whatever. That would be a great way for you to help me while I'm helping you. All right, so let's get into The Real Housewives of Orange County season 18. Spoilers. If you don't want to know what's going to happen on the upcoming season, turn off this video now. If you do, like me, continue. I love to know the scoop ahead of time. I mean, obviously not everything, so it's not hurting anybody. <laughs> so let's do this in chronological order. All right, I'm gonna do a real show today. So we're not gonna just be like beep, beep, beep like we do. All right. So uh, Shannon Bedore, it begins the season, is upset over John Jansen. And I think she might run into Alexis Bellino or John Jansen at the OC golf course, we think. And she runs into a golf course shop. We know this part's true. And she sees a man who's good looking there in the golf shop. And she frantically asks him to buy her a hat, obviously to hide. And I should mention as a sidebar that Katie, the new housewife, is an excellent golfer. And her husband is a contributor to like the golf channel and golf things. He's like a pro golf guy. So that's why we're at the golf course, I think, to introduce Katie to the group by Gina. We find this out in another league later. So what happens is Shannon goes up to this a gentleman. He buys her a hat and she leaves. And what we find out later is that production calls this man and asks if he would like to go on a date with Shannon. And he politely declines because he's got another girlfriend. And so he doesn't want to cheat on his girlfriend that he's seeing. But the tea is spilt at that point that production's trying to shoot Shannon on a date with this guy. So then we move on and we see the next fight. It's essentially Katie and Gina going at it. Katie spread rumors about Gina and Katie seasoned. She was already on a reality show. I think it was called Say Yes to the Dress. And so she knows what she's doing. She knows the assignment. And let's just play that quick clip. And production is right there. So how they didn't know someone was filming this is shocking to me. I'd say they leaked this clip. You are incorrect. You are lying about this. And what you're doing here, Katie, is not right. And I'm not okay with it. I brought you in to be my friend into this group. You're making your bullshit my bullshit. And I don't appreciate that. If Rector said, Rector's texted on our way. So Vicki Gumbelson is not appearing as a friend of or a housewife on the upcoming season. However, she will make an appearance to have a big fight with Tamara Judge over what happened with the Three Amigos show, which you guys know about. So Heather Dubrow sets up a lunch between Shannon Bedore and Vicky. And at the lunch, uh, we find out about the estrangement between Tamara Judge and Shannon Bedore and Vicky. And this sets up another scene they're going to shoot where there's a big altercation that happens between Vicky and Tamara. So a lot of the stuff that we've heard Vicky do in interviews where she's like, I can't believe Tamara Judge left me high and dry 
for Emily Simpson and Teddy Mellencamp is going to come out in this big fight and that Tamara is not a good friend to Shannon Bedore or her. And that is going to be the beginning of setting up Tamara as a bad friend in her three Amiga group. So another uh, angle on this season, I think, is that Tamara Judge drinks a lot and says really bad things to people. We see a scene kind of setting this up where Tamara Judge is very messy. She's dancing on a bar. She falls down because she's so drunk. And Jennifer Padrani comes to her aid. They're obviously friends again. OJ Simpson just died. Wanted to let you guys know uh, if you're watching this video. Uh, he died at 76 for... From cancer, I have no further comment on this man's troubled, horrific life and existence where he abused women and murdered his wife and all these things. That's what I think. So what the hell can I tell you? I feel for his kids. He has to answer to someone else now. So the conversation about Alexis Bellino and John Jansen obviously is going to be a, one of the storylines of the season that's going to be very important. Uh there's others, which I'm going to tell you, but. The fans were calling out for a wellness check on Alexis and Sean Jansen. <laughs> oh, love you guys. And obviously, Alexis is reenacting a scene from OC that Shannon did with John when they were together, where Shannon invited one of her favorite chefs to do like hibachi, etc. at John's condo. And now it's Alexis doing the exact same thing like, ha ha ha, I have your man. So then it's leaked that the women are heading to London on their big group trip. Vicky is not there and neither is Alexis Bellino. So lucky for us, someone was on the plane when the Real Housewives of Orange County women boarded to go to the UK. And I guess they held the plane up for them for three hours. I mean, who knows if that part's true, but I love it. <laughs> It says this, the Real Housewives of Orange County ladies are on their way for London for their cast trip, according to the girls on the flight. All of the ladies except one are in first class. The one in economy has dirty blonde hair. By process of elimination, it has to be Alexis or Gina or a newbie. Well, we know it's not Alexis because Alexis didn't go. Now here's the video that dropped with it. It wasn't Jennifer or Tamara. They're in first class. And here's the two new housewives with Shannon and Jennifer Padrani. So I don't think that it was actually one of the housewives and coach. It probably was a producer and the person on the plane didn't know. In one of the UK locations, they're fighting in a pub and it's Tamara Judge and Shannon Bedore. And they're screaming at each other and Shannon's like, Tamara, when you get drunk, you say horrible, hurtful things, and you've got to take accountability for it. And Tamara Judge is like, that's rich, given the fact that you got a DUI and drove your car into a house. And the fans chimed in after this saying, both can be true. <laughs> and they, I think in this case, are. Here's the soundbite. It's not great. I will... Just play it so you guys have it, but it's not a great soundbite.
So because the fans couldn't really hear what Tamara was saying, she made sure to let you guys know. She said, Rich, coming from the woman that crashed her car into a house three times the legal limit and doesn't apologize or take accountability for anything. And then, you know, oh my gosh, emoji. Here's a picture from that fight so you can kind of visualize it. And Queens of Bravo dropped this tea. So we also know another thing in effect here is that Shannon Bedore and Tamara Judge's relationship has fallen off because Tamara Judge has decided to befriend Alexis Bellino, even though Alexis is dating John Jansen. Now, Tamara Judge went on her show and said, no, I didn't know they were dating when I became friendly with Alexis and brought her on to the show, but the fans aren't buying it because Tamara studies, like I do, all the gossip to do with all the different housewife shows and definitely her cast members. So she knows exactly what she's doing, but this was what really is going to be a major plot point on the upcoming season is the fighting that's going to happen between Tamara and Shannon over Tamara not standing by Shannon Bedore over Alexis Bellino and John Jansen. So here's one place the women shot Camden Market in London. This is the women's sightseeing in Oxford and fighting there. There's Emily and Tamara. This is the women in Mayfair, London. So we see the two new housewives there. If you guys are in the Patreon, I'll put in the chat a picture of the episode that has the deep dive on the two new housewives of Orange County this upcoming season. By the way, Shannon Bedore's daughter spilled some tea. She saw Jenna Lyons filming Real Housewives of New York. Jenna is coming back. She wasn't sure, but she did decide to return. But she said that her lover is off limits, and that is her one boundary. She refuses to do anything about her personal life regarding her girlfriend and so that was, I guess, something that they had to agree to in our contract in order to get her to shoot again. So there's a three-star Michelin restaurant in London that's very trendy, but a little cheesy, but cool. They have pods and all sorts of neat stuff in different rooms you can eat in and drink in and very uh, forward menu. Uh, anyway, the women are seen there as well. The name of the restaurant's called Sketch if you want to check it out. And here's a video from it. Notice Shannon way the hell on the end of the table. <laughs> that sums it up. Well, it looks like this is what the season's going to be mainly about. I thought you would enjoy these spoilers. I'd say there's going to be shifts with the drinking on this show, too. Uh, Bravo is putting an initiative in place where they start to minimize the drinking a little bit so that people don't get too messy and sue them later. So that's what's going on behind the scenes. There's been some gossip pertaining a few of the cast members of Bravo maybe having drinking problems and the production having to take on some of that responsibility now rather than just pretend they don't see it, right? So there's some tea for you. All right. Uh, oh, by the way, someone who you'd least expect it might be sober. I'll let you guess who that might be. Well, we know the women are back now and in the OC. And well, you know how I feel about this picture. I don't even have to say it. Let me go get myself a glass of water and wrap up today's show. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Real Housewives of Orange County. Spoilers. All right. Have a great rest of your day, you guys, and like and subscribe.